ready to feed our fish. We feed them stage four, the adult fish, uh, stage four aqua nourish. We keep it in these bins because we want to make sure that mice and, and birds, even if they could get in the greenhouse, can't get in and bother our feed. We also want to make sure that the food stays dry because uh, the, the food can only be of high quality if it doesn't get wet, it doesn't get too hot, it doesn't uh, mold or go rancid because there are oils in here. So we keep them in these totes. Um, our fish get fed three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And we have a set regiment for the amount of feed. So for the amount of feed that you provide your fish, we wanna make sure that they can eat that within roughly 10 to 20 minutes. If it floats on the top, the fish aren't interested, they're too cold, they're breeding, it's too dark or too bright, or you've uh, disturbed the tank, they're not gonna eat. So uh, this is the food that we're gonna feed. This is two cups, let's go feed the fish. So one of the most important inputs to the system is fish feed. We really need to make sure that the feed matches the type of fish. For example, some fish are carnivorous, and so they require higher proteins in their feed than maybe fish like tilapia or koi, omnivorous species that don't necessarily need as high a protein content. So matching up the feed is really important. Also, looking at the size and age of the fish is important. It's sort of simple to think about big fish, big pellet, small fish, small pellet, um, so they can make sure that they are getting the right size feed and they're able to consume it properly. Fish, smaller fish, will also eat a much higher percentage uh, of feed relative to their body weight than older fish. So some smaller fingerlings can eat between five to 10% of their body weight per day versus larger adult fish, maybe more like one to 2% of their body weight. It's also important to understand that smaller fish, because they have a higher metabolism, they're gonna wanna eat much more frequently and snacking throughout the day versus older fish that maybe only eat two or three times a day. So these are some of the nuances uh, with fish feed, but really focusing in on making sure you have good quality feed is really important. So they're getting the right proteins, carbohydrates, amino acids, and you're not wasting feed, uh, which is a waste of money, certainly. And feed can be, can be costly, uh, but that's one of the areas that you get what you pay for. So get a good quality feed, because that's really gonna make the difference for the health of your fish, because if your fish are healthy, happy, and they're not stressed out, you're gonna have great quality plants and you're gonna have a really well-balanced system.